naturally team of the season brings a lot of opportunity to make coins but as of right now if you're trying to trade with team of the season players you're probably going to end up losing more coins than you gain so in this video i'll share exactly why this is happening but also give some other methods that will give you a much better return before we do get into the video if you're looking to get some very easy coins then there is no better place than mule factory and over there to get yourself some fast cheap fifa 22 coins completely reliable and if you use fanatic 5 at checkout you'll also get yourself a five percent discount link can be found in the description down below getting back into the video there will be a point in the future where trading with team of the seasons makes sense this happens every single year but as things currently stand you're better off using a number of other methods with a lot of the trading tips that i've been sharing here on this channel over the last year loads of you guys expected for team of the seasons release and for you to use very similar trading methods but changing the quality to be team of the season players and for you to hit the ground running as you're able to buy these players a lot cheaper compared to their lowest buy now and then send them to your transfer list relist them back onto the market and being able to make thousands of coins unfortunately that's not happening if you have tried to bid on any of these team of the season players you may realize that for a lot of them when you are trying to get them below market value there's simply not enough room for you to buy them for cheap and make profit now if you was to get 10 20 players that you're looking at as team of the season players and you did try to trade with every single one of them you will get a couple you're seeing clips on screen right now where i was able to win a few trades but you'll notice when i list them I'm only making a couple hundred coins, potentially even a couple thousand coins, and it did take me a very long time to get those deals. In most cases, when I'm bidding on these players, they go way above my maximum bid, and some of them have even gone above their lowest buy now. And I know when I say that, it doesn't make sense. But this is just the current state of what's happening with the FIFA 22 market. This does tend to happen for quite a lot of promos that we've had throughout the whole of FIFA 22. Whilst promos are active and whilst there is the most hype, there is loads of people go in to try and buy these players, whether it be through buy nows or through bids. And sometimes with those bids, it does just so happen to exceed what their lowest buy now is. If you are lucky to win any of these players on a bid or you get them through your packs when doing pack openings, you could list them slightly higher, slightly above their lowest buy now, and the chance of them selling is still relatively high. And this will continue to happen over the next couple of weeks. The only way in which I would recommend to trade with team of the season players, if you are specifically looking to trade with this type of card, is to go through sniping. And if you have spent quite a bit of time here on this channel, you know that this is normally my last resort. I don't like using sniping filters. But for whatever reason it is, if you are specifically looking to trade with Team of the Seasons, sniping is your best bet. It still doesn't guarantee that you're going to be winning loads of trades because you still have the competition. There are other people not just looking to snipe these players to trade with, but they're also trying to snipe them to get them as cheap as possible to use them within their team. Trading with Team of the Seasons is so difficult right now that I'm not even recommending people to buy Team of the Seasons as investments at the end of the week. Normally, and this is something that I've been recommending to players from the beginning of FIFA 22, for you to buy into Team of the Weeks and also other promos on a weekly basis. The second that players are added into packs, that's their highest point. On the following week, when they're taken out of packs, this is their lowest point. If you can buy them at their lowest point and just hold on for them for a couple weeks or potentially even a couple months, you will be able to make an insane amount of profit. You just need to be patient and hold them in your club. Of course, it's not going to be making millions of coins overnight, but you'll be surprised of how much you can actually make, especially if you're doing this on a weekly basis. Now, because of Team of the Season, I'm not recommending anyone to do this with Team of the Season players. If you was to do this as of right now, you would still lose coins. Players are getting released into packs, they're at their highest points, they will then drop in a couple days with the amount of packs being opened, and then with those players once they're taken out of packs, there's way too much of a supply, with demand staying pretty much as it is, so there's no reason for these players to increase. Once we do get towards the end of the team of the season promo, because it is the end of FIFA 22 at that point, and we're just around the corner from the next ultimate team, it's unlikely for them to increase. My opinion, 
it's better for you not to trade with these types of players. Instead, you should be looking at other types of trader methods. Whilst most players' attention is going towards team of the season players because they have a nice blue card design and they're so much better than their normal default cards, you could actually use the time to look at team of the weeks. Team of the weeks is what I'm currently looking at. You don't need to do anything special here, just set the quality to be team of the weeks and search the transfer market. As you go across each player, eventually you will come across one with a bid on. You add them to your watch list, you compare the price or you use a site such as Footbin where you can search that player's lowest buy now. And if the current bid is below that lowest buy now and you can place a bid, win them and still relist them to make profit, you should place a bid. This is all you really need to do. This isn't anything new, we have talked about this before on this channel. But way back when I first showed this method on this channel, on the release of FIFA 22, we was only making a couple hundred to a thousand coins here or there. All dependent on the time of day in which you're trading and the type of player that you can get. It's about being in the right place at the right time. But now, we're consistently winning deals. It's not just a case if you win in two or three if you was to bid on 10. You're more or less winning around about seven or eight if you was to bid on 10 players. And I know it doesn't sound as fancy as being able to trade with team of the season players, but still getting team of the weeks, as long as you're making profit at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. And with this, you will be able to get some really good deals. Deals where you're able to make three, four, five thousand coins profit after putting up just 20,000 coins for one player. Of course, for you to get those deals, you're going to have to be in the right place at the right time, but it does happen. And so far, when trading with Team of the Seasons, it hasn't happened. Not even once for me with the amount of time that I've dedicated to trading. The other method that I'm using as of right now to really make a good amount of coins is the 1 2 3 method. This method is back. We mentioned it a few weeks ago once Team of the Season was released. This method seems to come and go at different stages of Ultimate Team. Right at the beginning, with the amount of players playing, it was available. You could use the 1 2 3 method within the first two months of FIFA 22. After that, once we got into December, it started to roll off a bit. It wasn't as good, but roll round to team of the year at the end of January, it came back for just a week or two. Since then, it hasn't been available. It wasn't worth going through, but because all the attention has gone to those team of the season players and no one really cares about any of the other special cards that are available or any of the rare gold cards, you're able to use the 1 2 3 method and you're able to get some really good deals. I still prefer to use the 1 2 3 method to get special cards, so we're still technically crossing over into team of the week trading, but it does also cover other types of special cards and separates those that are good deals from those that are bad deals. So you don't need to be scouring the transfer market. You could just look, check to see if they have a bid on, if they have a bid, add them to your watch list. Because it's separating the good from the bad, you should have enough time to quickly search up that player's price on Footbin or you can type it in on your console. You find the lowest buy now and if there is room for you to place a bid, you will place a bid. And a good thing with the 1 2 3 method, if you are only just starting Ultimate Team or you have a low coin balance, you can use this to find cheap rare gold players and build those coins up to look to mid tier players such as your informs and other types of special cards listed between 10 to 20k. And then once you get to millions of coins, you can change this method to be the expensive version where you're looking at high tier icons and other expensive players valued between 100 to 200k, but with a buy now above 300k. These methods are working so well for me that at the time of recording this video, I haven't gone through the bulk bidder method and that's been something that I've been using all year round. Now I'm just going down onto team of the weeks, working on those and going through the one, two, three method to get other types of deals. It should be said that at some point within the future, team of the seasons will be worth trading with. But as of right now, there is way too much hype around them. There are so many people looking to buy them to trade with, to buy them to use for their team or buy them just to hold because they like the player in real life. That has become really difficult to get them below their market value. It's not impossible. It's just more difficult than if you was to trade in any other area. There will be occasions when you can win these deals and you can make a good amount but for the time taken to actually find a trade like that 
you're better off looking at the team of the week method or the one, two, three method where you should be able to win a lot more. No exaggeration, you will probably win and this does come down to you trading at the right time. I normally trade around 6 p.m. UK, but you should be able to get 10 times as many deals in a fraction of the time. And that's all you really need. For a lot of you, you may just be sitting on a couple hundred K here and there. So you don't need to be putting millions of coins into this type of method. You just need to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes going through these methods to use all your coins to throw them into trades, list them for 12 hours overnight. And by the time you wake up the following morning, those players have sold on. With team of the season, if you were to trade with it, it's going to take a lot longer than just 20 minutes to find deals to use all your coins to put them into trades. And every time that I've gone through it, it's just not been worth it. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see you.